Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got the Peter Rabbit colouring book for you. Now, when I seen this online, it said it was like 32 pages and it was quite reasonably priced, so I thought, mm, maybe it is 32 pages, maybe it's not, and I think I've remembered that it was 32, I might have that wrong. But anyway, when it arrived, it is definitely a tiny, tiny, tiny book. Look how thin it is. It's like even thinner than the magazines that we get in Australia uh, for colouring. So it's very thin and it's got some gorgeous little glossy cover on there with gorgeous little Peter Rabbit on it. But it is very, very cute. So, so let's dive inside. We've got the glossy cover and I'll just show you the cover up against uh, an average size colouring book. So you can see it's a little bit bigger. Just, you know, one and a half centimetres, perhaps bigger. So it's a nice size. So inside we've got these lovely coloured images from Beatrix Potter, including that front image. Then we've got our gorgeous title page and we can see that it's grayscale and that's what all the pictures inside are. Now there's not many pictures because the first part of it is taken up with the tail of Peter Rabbit and then we get on to the actual images. So I'll just move it across. The images are grayscale and they're printed just on single sided paper with just a little note on the back or part of the story. And they've got like a sketchy look to them as well as a grey scale so the lines aren't as sharp as say in other books but they're really nice images so they're, they're really nice and consistent with the grey scale on them and so yeah, as you can see on the back we've got a little bit of the story and then the image is just on one page But the images are super pretty. And they've got loads of detail in them. And I like that the shadowing is really consistent with each image. In some of the books that we've seen uh, for Peter Rabbit, they just haven't been consistent line art throughout. So this one, although small, it does have some nice illustrations in there. And that's it for the illustration part of the book. As I said, it's very small. And we've got these gorgeous coloured images at the back as well. So that's it for our little Peter Rabbit colouring. I think I'll call it a magazine because it's quite thin. Peter Rabbit colouring book. Hope you enjoyed that review. The links to buy it are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.